Testing, testing, one, two, three. It is I, says me. Once again, my name is Troy White. I am a portfolio manager with the firm Hoodoo Financial. And I'm talking about finance today. Uh, the topic that I want to cover is uh, I want to talk about your financial progress and uh, try to get a progress report from you, for you, to you about yourself. And um, essentially what's bringing this to mind is uh, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of momentum, a lot of conversation, a lot of activity around uh, entrepreneurism as it relates to hip hop, as it relates to Nipsey. Uh, we know Nipsey tragically passed and um, we are now, you know, engaged in a lot of back and forth conversation about, uh, about entrepreneurship uh, amongst hip hop community, uh, revitalizing the hood, um, you know, taking control of your economic circumstances, uh, financial planning, investment, and so on and so forth. So those are the the, the topics that uh, have been circling around the internet, uh, circling around me. You know, a lot of people that I talk to are, um, we're talking about these issues. And so um, what I'm finding is that it's a lot of talk and there's nobody's doing nothing. I shouldn't say nobody, but many of you are not doing anything. And, you know, there, there's a time to talk and there's a time to act. And, you know, we are continuing to, to identify the circumstance that uh, we're in and or that Nipsey uh, was in and, and the successes that he had. And we all understand that this is something that this is a blueprint that he had is the blueprint that you need. And uh, Jay-Z, I believe, had a, a CD discussing this, the blueprint, and that 444 album, uh, the marathon from Nipsey. And you know, there's a lot of other um, artists that are on the entrepreneurial uh, path. In fact, uh, pretty much all of rap music the hip hop um, environment, um, it pushes the aspect of wealth, uh, attaining wealth, uh, getting rich. But what I would say uh, to that is that it's not discussed in an intelligent way. It's just, we need to get money. And okay, that's a start. But as you have come to understand is that money is just not enough. It's your economic success uh, hinges on more than just how much money you have. So when I mentioned the blueprint and uh, the, the, the marathon and all that, it's because, um, you know, like I said, I don't think that um, many of us are taking it serious or many who are taking this serious have reached a point to where they have the awareness and they are eager to begin an entrepreneurial journey, but they don't know what to do. They are uh, aware and eager to become a stock market investor, but they don't know what to do. They are aware and eager of the fact that you must plan to achieve any goal that you have, but hey, again, people just don't know what to do, don't know where to start, don't know who to ask. So let's dive into that. Let's uh, let's just bring up some of these questions and answer some of them, and you know, speak on it. Whether we have the answers or not, we can identify some path that'll lead us to the answer. So. Um, it's only recently that people have, 
people, or let me not say people, the hip hop community has uh, identified that, you know, what entrepreneurship and uh, true entrepreneurship or or that blueprint that we were talking about is, is just starting to be um, some some consciousness in our community that this is a possibility, that this is a reality. And the awareness that you don't have to be signed to some major label uh, and that uh, that is not the pathway to riches. And uh, for a few, it can be. But the, the reality, the likelihood, um, the historical um, reality is that uh, you will get signed to a major label and you will get sat on the shelf. The nothing, uh, your album will never come out. And uh, that has happened. That has happened to, to uh, projects that I've worked on personally and got paid for. Those the projects, they just sit on the shelf. It's, you do a lot of good work and, you know, maybe a year's worth of work. And uh, But you're on the label. They'll put it out when they feel like putting it out or not. Right. So it's a lot of great artists and entertainers who have come across this, across this circumstance. And uh, so the uh, same with the sports figures, you know, only a few of you will ever um, make it to the NBA, make it to the NFL, you know, make it to the uh, any of those professional leagues. And the. It's not because you are good or bad. It's not because you are not a great basketball player. It's not that you are. It's not because you aren't the greatest basketball player that has ever walked the face of this earth. That person might be walking around in a, in a high school right now, but they're not doing their work, their school work. So we'll never see them. We'll they'll they're not going. Um, they're not taking it serious enough because they have this guy given talent and they never had to work on it much. So they end up being a person like Allen Iverson, who is like, you know, practice. You tripping off me because of practice, but because they feel they don't need practice. They're just that much better than everybody they've ever played against. You know, so they don't they feel they don't even need to practice. But, you know, that never works out. You know, it, it, it can work for some for a, a short amount of time, but that's just not how, how life works. All right. So, um, so, um, question that I have is, are you taking notes of the blueprint that is being given to you by your hip hop icons? Are you taking notes of the blueprints that are being given to you? By your hip hop icons, which are hip hop icons am I talking about? Obviously, I'm talking about Nipsey Hussle. Obviously, I'm talking about Jay Z. That's that's the easy ones, right? All right, but E Forty, look up his, look him up on uh, Wikipedia. Find out the entrepreneurial endeavors that E Forty is in. I got a bottle of uh. Earl Stevens in my refrigerator right now. And that is one of his alcoholic uh, beverages. It's like he's got the Slurricane. Uh, he's got that Earl Stevens. He's got, uh, he got a lot of, lots of products. And it's not necessarily that I want to hype his uh, products. It's not that I'm telling you to go out and buy them. I just want you to be aware, and and it's and it's not about the product because, um, as we know, uh, uh, Puffy. This dude has, uh, Ciroc. Uh, he's got, and Jay Z has a liquor. I don't remember the name, but it's a cool bottle, and I bought it. It's in my uh, liquor cabinet right now. I like to buy, um unique looking bottles of unique beverages, you know, so when friends come over, I say, hey, what you want to drink? You know, I'll pour them a shot of, uh, so I I like that, that uh, bottle that Jay-Z has, 
the 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 brand name is escaping me right now, but it's a very nice looking bottle. Um, but we know that artists have alcoholic beverages. Uh, we know that artists have clothing lines. We also are now aware that artists have uh, electronics brands, uh, being the Beats by Dre. There's one that uh, Ray J has, uh, some sort of earphones. Um, Soldier Boy has uh, video games. Uh, so what the, what I'm trying to point out to you is that hip hop is not just about songs. In fact, rap artists are not selling songs. Their songs are advertisements to purchase other things that they have, including a CD and a cassette. A CD and a cassette is a other thing. It's a piece of plastic. And the song is on there. That's why you bought that piece of plastic. So the same as that piece of plastic, we just, I want you as an artist or you as a, as a hip hop individual to use your hip hop, um, your license as, as a person in the hip hop community. I want you to apply that branding and that creativity and that style to another product. Just like Earl Stevens did, E-40. Just like Puffy did, um, Sean John. Just like Jay-Z did with Rock Aware. Um, uh, a friend of mine has a clothing line. Uh, it's called Cookies. I've been seeing people all, all over uh, wearing that. I saw uh, R. Kelly. With, uh, uh, when they was talking about, yeah, he's, uh, he's molesting these children. He, he was wearing one of my friend's clothing line. Um, uh, there are some others there, you know, I can't just go down the list right now, but the point is they start off as rappers. They understand that they can make a rap song, but they wasn't never selling songs. They was making songs to sell you something. So you are just as much a hip hop from the hip hop community as they are. And you are just as much a hip hop uh, a citizen as E-40 is, as as Sean Puffy Combs is, as uh, Jay-Z is. And, and the list goes on and on. As, um, as Nipsey, you are as much in the hip hop as they are. And it's your obligation to create a product and put it out there and campaign and advance the hip hop culture forward. And, and the way you do that is to become successful. And, and so the blueprint is you need to be successful. You need to create a company. You need to become an investor and an entrepreneur. And we need you to be successful so what, what I'm saying is you need to come up with a product and you need to promote that product and, and you need to use the, the hip hop culture to promote your product. Your product needs to represent that culture and advance that culture. And we need you to make lots of money because we need you to be successful and we need you to interact with other businesses that are doing a similar thing that you are doing. So um, no matter what your business is, you will have, you will need services provided to you by other businesses. And what I'm saying is those other businesses need to be businesses that are in operated by other hip hop citizens, citizens from the hip hop community. Those need to be businesses that are part of the hip hop community. And together, we will strive. Together, we will grow. Together, we will thrive. And that's the only way it's going to work. So, for instance, let's take the Nipsey model. Uh, Nipsey owned the, that little shopping center. He owned one of the stores there. And he had branded items inside those stores. Those, that's, that's three points right there. 
he owned the real estate, he owned the store, and he he owned prop merchandise that goes in that store. So he only needed to be one of those, but he's all three of those. And we need you to do that. So get some sort of passion that and and find a product that is a part of that passion. So if you, uh, uh, it's an easy one is to pick cars. Let's say your passion is cars or motorcycles. Let's say you have a, let's pick both of those. Let's say you have a passion for Harleys. Well, you know, won't you start you an online Harley parts business? Won't you start you an online Harley, uh, used Harley motorcycle uh, sales uh, site where you connect buyers and sellers and you're getting a commission out of the middle. Uh, why don't you start you a, a Harley fan club uh, page and and you can give classes on uh, how to repair Harleys or how to um, customize Harleys. Uh, you know, so the people can take your class Here's how to customize a Harley. Here's how to start your uh, your uh, motorcycle club. And by the way, if y'all need parts, click here and I'll sell you any parts you need. That's the type of concept, you know, if that's your passion, those are the areas where you need to, to make, some, make a business out of it. And understand, we need you to make a business out of your passion. And we need you to be successful at that business make, that you made out of your passion. And we need you to make lots and lots of money at it. We need you to do it because we need you to also spend with other businesses that are thriving. And we need those businesses to do the same thing you did. So let's pick on the cars again. So let's say you're a car uh, enthusiast. And let's say you, you don't like old schools at all. You like new cars, then maybe you know. Say you you like uh, challengers, then let's say you have a, a your website deals with um, kits to you know customize your challenger and engine parts and, and, and like like uh, turbochargers and uh, and. Um, and nitro kits for chargers, and and, the, and let's say uh, different rally stripes packages that you could put on chargers. Just those little simple things right there. You know that they selling like hotcakes right now. How many chargers is out there in challenge? People buy it all day from you. So now you know, and we can go down the list. Whatever. Let's pick another one. What's another one? Um, say your passion is a uh, you a you a video game person. So we check this one out. Let's say you are into video games, and uh, you want to put Soldier Boy's video games in it. Listen, you can have Soldier Boy's games in your store. We know your competitors right now, GameFly, and uh, and GameStop, because like right now. My son's PlayStation 4 don't work right. It won't load up right. I went on the internet to try to do the reinitializing it. It's not working. I'm get, I'm going to have to take it to GameStop and have them fix it. You could do that. You, I actually remember the founder of Gamefly. Um, he would, I went to a, like a, a, a symposium where he was one of the speakers. And that was at uh, downtown Oakland. And I'm going to tell you the year. It was 2007. So that's 12 years ago. So they were noth there was nothing at that time. I had never heard of them until I heard that dude saying it. So in 12 years now, they got video. They got commercials. They're making some money. They're only on the internet. Whereas GameStop is, is brick and mortar. Game Fly is online. Well, those are two, two uh, business models you can have right there. So 
the for a person like me, I need to take this PlayStation physically in to get it worked on. You could do that. Those are and, and let's let's add something else to your business model. You while you have that physical location that repairs uh PlayStations, you could be repairing iPhones and 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 iPads and and uh smartphones, the screens. I bought the I I started. I have a I have a business for that. I'm not doing it, nothing with it. It's on the shelf. It's called Pod Choppers. Podchoppers.com. But I don't I don't even do nothing with it. So but it was for the purpose of repairing the screens. I bought all those supplies, all the equipment and all that stuff. Haven't done nothing with it. Or, well, I did something with it, but stop. All right. But my point is, we need you to do something. You need to get up, get out, and get something. Come out here and do something. All right. So, do you know what to do? What is the blueprint? So, you might have, you know just kind of uh theoretically that you need to be out here doing things but that doesn't mean that you instantly have all the information right instantly have all the knowledge so i understand that and so that's that's part of it is that you know we're all gung-ho and like okay yeah nipsey was 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 right so let's let's put it into effect that that's that's our mentality but what do we do what 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 is a, what is a person supposed to do? You know, even if you have some money to 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 get started, usually a person doesn't know. So how do you do it? Who do you ask on what to do? Here's another question: Do you have a desire to be a bit become a business owner, but are just not sure what to do? Is that you? Do you know the steps required to implement? The strategies that are advocated by Nipsey Hussle, the strategies that are advocated by Jay Z, the strategies that are advocated by uh, the No Limit Soldier Percy Miller, that are advocated by uh, Sick With It Records uh, E Forty Earl Stevens, you know these are people uh, Nas uh, uh, Too Short. Um, 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 MC Hammer. These are the original, the original hip hop entrepreneurs. You know, uh, 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 Russell Simmons. You know, all of the early uh, late people who started the record labels were the pioneers. And so, what I'm what I'm pointing out is we are now we have now graduated from selling records. We have graduated from record companies. We need to start. Now it's time to start clothing. We've we've graduated from records and tapes and CDs, clothing and alcohol. It's time to expand your hustle. Expand your hustle to everything. I want to see some African American hip hop related uh, cell phones, uh, laptops. Um, I want all sorts of electronics. And I want I want to see more uh, software, you know, things that link other things, because there's a lot of uh, application provider interfaces out there that what that means is you could buy off off the shelf technology, repackage it, rebrand it. And that's your company right there. That's almost that's that that's easier it's easier to do that than start a record company. It's easier to do that. It's easier to get an off-the-shelf application provider interface, slap your brand on it, and put it out there for sale. And then get Facebook ads, Instagram ads to market that thing. And you have a you have a tech company right there. Whereas your buddy, his album ain't got started yet. They ain't even booked studio time. You, you, your rec, your company, you, you can have a tech company and your product is out already. Your software is out and on with Facebook as people buying it right now. That is the is in the in the and you might not understand what I'm talking about because you're just not aware. You just don't know what the hell T Roy is talking about. But what I'm saying is this blueprint 
is 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 means that you got to become educated. You know, entrepreneurship is not gonna knock on your front door and say, hey, here go away for you to make some money. You're gonna have to seek out the info. You're gonna have to have some passion about you. You're gonna have to want something. And and we always hear, oh, everybody can't be an entrepreneur. You know, that's not true. But what it is is most people are more lazy minded and more most people don't believe in themselves. Most people don't believe in their create creativity. They think they don't have creativity, so they stop right there and don't attempt creativity. And so um, you're going to have to get something. You're going to have to get up, get out, and get something. Get some sort of plan together. So identify something that you want to do. Now, and I mean just just that general area. Is it cars? Is it motorcycles? Is it phones? Is it watches? Is it rings? Is it glasses? Jewelry? Is it gold fronts? You know, uh, what, what's the name? Paul Wall and them. He got a business selling gold fronts. You could do that so easily. You, you just identify that area of interest. And from there, we start to to narrow down how you can get in where you fit in to that area of interest. Because, and even if your goal is up here, well, we need to get in where we fit in with that as the target. But we fit in right here. Okay, now I'm in the car. So now I can drive to that location. You know what I'm saying? So I get in somehow formulate your plan from there. Once I'm in this industry, I can I, I understand how to get to that highest level that I'm trying to take this to. So, so the blueprint, um, the, the one thing I want to say on that is, you know, what, what blueprint are you going to follow? The blueprint that I'm seeing from a large majority of our rap artists, or I shouldn't, no, excuse me, excuse me for calling you artists, from our rappers is stay high all the time, stay drunk all the time, sex with as many females as possible, uh, Let's see if we can get into some fights. Maybe we could possibly start shooting up some shit. Um, if I can kill a couple black people, that's even better. That's the blueprint that we are receiving. Obviously, that blueprint leads to nowhere. 